is something that happens all the time. What is the government doing? You know, like, I'm so scared of driving. When I see containers, I just take it. I can even park my car by the roadside and wait for them to go wherever. And I keep a very far distance from them. Mm. This thing keeps happening. And I expect that the government would, you know, all this, this Whoever is supposed to take care of that, to take it. we can't keep waiting for things to happen. Then we react. Something happens. Then we react. These are people's lives. And I can assure you that the transfer or the container driver did not die, but he killed nine people. Mm. You know and that is so unfair. So the, we just have to do something about this. We can't just keep wasting lives. There are people dying from um, um, head smears, Boko Haram. Then there's violence here and there. Then the few people that leave their house to go to an honest to look at honest living, then the container just lands on them and kills them, and the container never goes away in country. That's very unfair. Mm-hmm. We should do something about the containers. They are really a minute. It is one month, one trouble from them. The government close eyes to these things. Is it that they are not aware? Is it, or is it because they are not being affected first? Let me ask. Mm. All the police and numerous uh, uh, agencies on the road Extorting money from these people. Don't they observe that some of these uh, trucks, the containers on top of them are not well knotted. Their screws are off. Nothing is binding them to the vehicle itself. When you go to Semehia, you cannot find a trailer, uh, I mean a container, hmm. that is not tied to the, con- to the truck. What is the work of these people on the road? Extracting money from them. Where from work or the depot, where they're coming from, they are not checked. They are not examined. All they know is that money they want to collect. Why? And I thought they said all these things should move at night only. Hmm. They make law on papers, radio, and that is all. Bye bye, Sandra. It's so painful. So painful.